Hey, my name is Will Malvahill, and I'm working to repair some skates today, repairing rivets uh, with screws. So I had some trouble with my skates. I'm a sort of bigger dude here, as you might be able to see. And I've got uh, are these CCM RBZ skates, and I bought them brand new this year. And within, I don't know, maybe a couple months, the rivets on the back of the skates started popping out. And you can see here, that I'm actually missing some rivets at this point. And so if you don't know too much about rivets, basically they go through the skates. They look like this little thing right here. This is a rivet. And the rivet goes through the bottom of the skate and into the boot. And it's supposed to splay out. And so you can see some of that in here on that left side over on here. These rivets are through and they're sort of spread out and you know there's basically spread out and that grips it to this boot to the white part which is the harness chassis whatever you want to call it so I had some problems with rivets coming out they kept coming out and I would have pro shops put them back in and they eventually did not work out right. They kept not staying in. So there are a couple options. Um, one is to continue to use rivets. There's also copper rivets which are stronger and stay in a bit more but uh, they are they make the skate a little bit heavier uh, which my fix may as well. But what I'm looking today to do is replace those rivets that are missing with screws. So materials wise I've got some Loctite super glue. Try to get something that's not uh, instant grip. Something that has to set up for a little bit so that you have time to work with it. I've got basically T-nuts and these are brad hole ones meaning they don't have anything around it. They just have these little holes uh, you can get ones that are different than this that actually have some sort of gripping piece on the bottom. Uh, that would sort of grip into the skate here uh, on the bottom there. That might ruin the footbed of the skate, but uh, it would certainly make it hold very, very well. Um, and then you need a couple different machine screws. Um, oh, well, yes, and I'm using, as you can see, 6 30 seconds uh, by 1 4th brad hole T nuts, and then likewise, 6 30 seconds machine screws. And I've got right here, I've got a half inch one. Um, up here, these are actually a full inch, and then uh, elsewhere, I've got some 3 8 inch. Um, the difference that you need to know here is that you need to probably get a couple different lengths to see what's going to fit because you need this screw to go from here into your boot and basically be able to hold inside the boot with the T-nut. I did this fix once already with 3 8 inch screws and um, this one right here held just fine but these back two it wasn't long enough so it eventually came out so today I'm replacing them with half inch and if that doesn't work then a full inch now if you want to go a full inch it's you're probably likely going to have to file down on the on the top of it because it'll stick it'll stick up through the skate uh, and that would not feel good on your foot so don't do that <laughs> and then lastly we'll need some washers of various size um, lock washers are what we want but if the screw is too long or something, it just helps it grab a bit better. So I've got five millimeter, four millimeter, six millimeter, and a variety here. Just see what works. So first thing, first step is to replace or to take out the foot pad, which is what I've got over here. It's already out. And then the second step, um, which I'm gonna stop and do myself so you don't have to be, uh, board by it is take out the laces to make it easier to work the skate with. So we'll be right back in one second. 
All right, so the laces are removed, as you can see, and we have a nice helpful cat or two. And got all the laces out. This just makes it easier to work inside the boot and not have to be jamming your hand in there. So the first step is I'm going to put another of these uh, T-nuts in the bottom of the boot. I'll put it in that second hole there, and then we'll start to get set up for the screw itself. So T-nut going into the bottom there. Oh, and one thing to mention too is, and it may be hard to see here, but you do need a decent hole um, in, so that you can put the T-nut in. Generally, it should work out right, and you should be able to see through and such. If it's all crudded up or there's you know extra little plastic or something in there, you can use a drill. Just be very, very careful as to how big of a drill bit you use. You do not want to use a drill bit where you make a huge hole and then the the six thirty seconds not going to be big enough in terms of a T nut. You're gonna have to get something bigger and that's gonna you know end up these lay flat here which is nice but these are sort of almost already digging into the side of the boot. So you wouldn't want you wouldn't want anything bigger because yeah it would not it would not fit in here. So as small of a hole as you can works out there. Alright, so that's in. And then on the other side, this is basically the the big this screw will go oops. the screw will go into this hole and into the T nut on the other side. I'm gonna futz with a little bit here and try to get the right washer figured out. But this is basically going in and screwing into the T-nut on the other side. So let me find the right washer and we'll show you how it's done. Alright, so I got a nice little washer on there. Uh, hard to see there, but it is on there. And I've got my right hand inside the boot pushing on the T-nut the and then we're just screwing that in to the T-nut itself. This would be hard for me to have the camera and do, but anyway, you get the idea. So I'm going to fasten this in and it'll be tight. Now here's the also piece that you want to do is take your Loctite, your super glue, whatever, whatever you're using, and you can either put it on the threads itself as they go in, or alternatively, and probably easier, is putting a bunch of dabs into the T-nut itself while you have the screw set there, and that'll, as the screw comes up, it'll start to seal around there. So just something like that. But basically this Loctite is there so that it doesn't unscrew, which the locking washer will help, but the Loctite will just make sure it's all solid and such. So again, I'm going to put this put a dab of this in there and then I'm going to screw the screw in and we'll check out what it looks like at the end. Alright, so we've got the T-nut in there and you can see the screw head just uh, right at the top there and you can see on this bottom side that it is almost all the way flush there and the nut is, uh, or the washer is spread out a bit, kind of like this other one is. Um, one handy thing that I found while doing this is if you do have one of the longer screws, which I think the cat just took. Oh, here it is. <laughs> if you have one of the longer screws, you can place it in the actual top of the T-nut so that it doesn't spin and just have two screwdrivers, one on each side. Um, eventually, you'll just have to put your thumb or something in on the top of that T-nut and you know press down on it while you're screwing from the other side. Um, again, the Loctite's there, the super glue is there to hold all of that nicely. But, um, but yeah, we are all done. Um, again, follow the instructions of your super glue. Uh, mine says to let it set for 10 minutes and then cures in full 24 hours so 
don't go skating on this uh, <laughs> immediately. But yeah, there you go. That's how to do it. And again, this was just a last resort where I couldn't get uh, couldn't get it fixed by traditional means. Normally rivets are just fine. I mean, you can see all these rivets up here. They're all good. But uh, where there's a hell lot of heavy stress on the boot um, from whatever, uh, screws can be an alternative. There are, in fact, some brands of skates that do ship with screws, um, but most skate manufacturers just use rivets because they're cheaper. So any comments, post them below and any questions let me know hope this was helpful and have fun out there